We have an AFC championship rematch as the Kansas City Chiefs go against the Baltimore Ravens. This is your week one 2024 prediction and preview video. Hit subscribe button if you're new. Also hit the like button. The last time these two teams faced each other, the Baltimore Ravens walked out with the L. And the Kansas City Chiefs had to be on the road. The Kansas City Chiefs won that game 17 to 10. And we know how the Kansas City Chiefs postseason ended with a Super Bowl victory. Let's start off with the reigning and defending Super Bowl champions. They're on the road to try to attempt to do something that no NFL franchise has ever done. Win three straight Super Bowls in a row. When I look at this Kansas City Chiefs roster right now, it is better on paper than it was last season. They just cut Kadarius Toney. He couldn't catch a cold. He was terrible. And you also look at it from this standpoint. Their wide receivers were their biggest weakness on the offensive end last season. Travis Kelsey missed the first game of last season when they went against the Detroit Lions. And the same with Chris Jones. Chris Jones was looking for more money. And Travis Kelsey was, de was dealing with a hyperextended knee issue that he suffered in practice. As I record this video, both guys are healthy and both guys are ready to go. When I look at the Kansas City Chiefs right now, the keys to victory are pretty simple. Protect Patrick Mahomes as much as possible and get the wide receivers going. They drafted Xavier Worthy in the first round. And you may say, hey, they could press up on him on, on the line of scrimmage. Good luck. It was a lot of clips circling around in practice of the Kansas City Chiefs DBs getting physical with him at the line of scrimmage to get him ready for when he goes against actual competition, just like teams against the Baltimore Ravens. And he started to look better in those recent practices. You have a guy that can take the top off the defense. We know how great Travis Kelsey is. The last time these two teams faced each other, Travis Kelsey was the leading wide receiver. He had 11 catches for 116 receiving yards. You now bring in Juju Smith-Schuster, who had a lot of success with the Kansas City Chiefs a couple of years ago when they went and they won that Super Bowl against the Philadelphia Eagles. You have Xavier Worthy. Now, Hollywood Brown will miss this game. He's dealing with a sh shoulder injury that he suffered in the preseason against the Jacksonville Jaguars. But you have Rasheed Rice, who last season was a very good rookie wide receiver. I trust for him to go out there and cause a lot of damage. The same with Travis Kelsey and Juju Smith-Schuster as well. You still have Sky Moore that's on the roster, and the same with Justin Watson. I don't expect for them to be major game changers in this game, but expect for the big three, Rasheed Rice, Travis Kelsey, and Juju Smith-Schuster to give the ball from a Ravens defense a lot of problems but it comes down to pass protection we saw what happened last season with Jawan Taylor in the re regular season it didn't look that good in the postseason he played better he has minimalized those penalties and the office line as a whole has to protect Patrick Mahomes their interior of the offensive line is just is the strong suit you have Joe Tooney who is a very good left guard. Creed Humphrey, one of the best centers in the NFL. And Trey Smith is a very good guard as well. And it opens up those rushing lanes for Isaiah Pacheco. Last time these two teams faced each other in the AFC Championship, Isaiah Pacheco had 24 carries for 68 rushing yards. And the thing is this, they were dealing with a lot of stacked boxes and they are pressing up on those wide receivers. I don't expect them to do much of that in this game. So Isaiah Pacheco should have a lot of things go in his favor. So overall, the keys to victory for the Kansas City Chiefs, protect Patrick Mahomes, obviously catch the football for the wide receivers, and just go out there and minimize the penalties. Because even though the Baltimore Ravens defense is not the same, you still do not want to go out there and take this team lightly. This is a team that's going to try to go out there. And they're going to try to get it back because of what happened in the AFC Championship game. When I look at the defense for the Kansas City Chiefs, last season, one of the best defenses in the NFL. Their front seven is amazing with Chris Jones. Like I mentioned before, he missed that game last season when they went against the Detroit Lions. He's going to be able to play in this game. The same with George Carl this as well. Both of those guys were getting after Lamar Jackson, and they were stopping the run. I have more to say about the run game when I get into the Baltimore Ravens. But that's the key to victory for the Kansas City Chiefs defense. Go out there, stop the run, and force Lamar Jackson to beat you with his arm. Make him prove that he can do it. I'm not saying just go out there and just stack up the box over and over again. But with the front seven that you have, you don't even need to do that. You have guys like Derek Nottie, Chris Jones, George Carl Laftis, Drew Tranquil, who was a very good linebacker, and Nick Bolton, who was a very good speedy linebacker at the middle position spot. You have guys that go out there and they can match the intensity because they're going to need that front seven to get going early because we know the Baltimore Ravens love to run the football and they have a brand new acquisition in Derrick Henry, one of the best running backs in the NFL. So go out there, stop the run, and press up on the wide receivers. 
The last time that these teams faced each other in the AFC Championship, their only valuable weapon on the outside was Zay Flowers. Mark Andrews was able to play, but he wasn't the same. He was still dealing with that ankle injury that he suffered earlier in the season against the Cincinnati Bengals. And they did a great job of shutting down Isaiah Likely as well. Keep Lamar Jackson inside the pocket, stop that run game, and make him beat you with his arm. Far as the secondary with the Kansas City Chiefs, you no longer have Legereus Sneed. You traded him to the Tennessee Titans, but you still have very good players in the secondary. Guys like Trent McDuffie, who had a great postseason, especially in that Super Bowl against Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk. And he had a great game in the game against the the Baltimore Ravens as well. You have Justin Reed, who's a very good safety, and Brian Cook. But be careful about watching who will be the number two cornerback. I look for the Baltimore Ravens to go out there and try to test Joshua Williams as much as possible. He'll be playing on the opposite side of Trent McDuffie. With that being said, let's talk about the Baltimore Ravens. Last season was amazing. Lamar Jackson went out there. He won his second NFL MVP. They defeated the San Francisco 49ers in a great way on the Christmas Day. But in the postseason, everything came to a screeching halt when they went against the Kansas City Chiefs. A lot of that is because you look at their offensive coordinator and Todd Monken. He did not run the football enough in that game. You now have Derrick Henry, who was a bowling ball in the backfield. The key to victory, the first one for the Baltimore Ravens, is to control the front seven of the Kansas City Chiefs. Stop them from trying to blitz Lamar Jackson from all angles and run the football as much as possible. Help out Lamar Jackson. Because when we go back to that game and when we really look and assess that game, if Zay Flowers not fumble in the red zone, maybe the Boston Ravens go out there and they win that game. If Lamar Jackson doesn't throw that interception in triple coverage, trying to go out there and target Isaiah Likely, maybe we're singing a different tune here. But a lot of people like to hone in and say, hey, Todd Munkin didn't run the football enough. And he didn't. The key to victory is to get Derrick Henry going and to get him going behind one of the best centers in the NFL and Tyler Linderbaum. Run the football to Kansas City Chiefs' throat and force them to blitz. Then you can be in one-on-one -on -one situation with guys like Zay Flowers and Mark Andrews. And like I mentioned before, Mark Andrews was not fully healthy in the playoff game. He was cleared, but he did not do much in the game. And he is questionable to play, but he is on pace to play, dealing with that ankle injury that he suffered last season. And if he is not able to play, you have Isaiah Likely. This is what the Ravens have to do. Slow the game down, use time and possession. Not to say that their defense is just going to go out there and not stop Patrick Mahomes. They still have a strong defense, even though they no longer have Mike McDonald and some of those veteran defensive players. But you have to run the football. You have to make Lamar Jackson feel comfortable inside the pocket. And guys have to get open across the middle of the field. It was too many times in that AFC Championship game. They were single out Zay Flowers. Even though he had a great game, no one else can get open. You're going to have to have guys like Rashard Bateman go out there and find ways to get open against man coverage. And the same for Nelson Aguilar as well. So the keys to victory, run the football, slow the football game down, and also taking care of the football. Lamar Jackson can't have those costly moments like how he had last season returning the football er over early in the game. Slow the game down, you'll be in a better situation. But it's going to be very interesting to see how the Baltimore Ravens offensive line looks because they did lose three of their starting offensive linemen. Now let's talk about the defense of the Baltimore Ravens. It's pretty simple what you have to do here. Contain and watch out for the speed of the Kansas City Chiefs and watch out for Travis Kelsey. You no longer have Patrick Queen. You no longer have Jadavion Clowney. That's okay. You have Roquan Smith, one of the best linebackers in the NFL. He's great against stopping the run. And they did a very good job against stopping the run last season against the Kansas City Chiefs. You have Trent Simpson, who is now going to be a starter alongside Roquan Smith. Hasn't played much, but was a very good linebacker coming out of Clemson. Can he fill in that void that Patrick Queen has left so far? We will see. But the first key to victory is watch out for the speed and emotion of the Kansas City Chiefs. The thing is, and what is so scary with Andy Reid, when he has enough time to prepare for you when he has a bye week or just extra time, he rarely loses the game because he uses a lot of motion. It helps Patrick Mahomes see the field more, and it helps guys like Travis Kelsey get wide open. You can't have miscommunication on the back end. So it starts up front with their front seven as well, with Justin Matabuke, and it also starts with some other guys on the defensive line, like Michael Pierce. Can you just go out there, stop the run, and contain Patrick Mahomes behind the line of scrimmage? 
Usually when Patrick Mahomes is starting to run around, he's not trying to rush for 15, 20 yards down the field. He's trying to look for small creases to create a big play. And we saw some of that last season as well. So it comes down to the front seven and those linebackers. Far as the secondary, you want to go out there, you can play press man coverage, but you have to take away Travis Kelsey. You can go out there, double team, do whatever you have to do, force other guys to beat you. And yes, Rasheed Rice can beat you in one-on-one coverage, but I have a lot of faith that Marlon Humphrey can go out there and he can really give him a lot of problems. But you have to find the right matchup to keep Travis Kelsey at bay. Do not let him break out in this game because if he does, everything else is opened up. Then guys like Rasheed Rice can go crazy. The run game can go out of whack. They have running backs that can catch the football at the backfield. You don't want to see that. So I expect for Kyle Hamilton to be all over this defense like how he was last season. He could play inside the slot. He could play high free safety. He could play the strong safety position. He could play linebacker. He's a versatile player. Put him on Travis Kelsey and those situational downs. Do not let him kill you on second and third down. Force guys like Juju Smith-Schuster to go out there and beat you if you have to. Do not let those other guys on this team, especially Travis Kelsey, go out there and dictate the game. And that's the biggest thing with the Baltimore Ravens. Do not let the Kansas City Chiefs get time possession and do not let them dictate the game. Because it's too many times that we say Patrick Mahomes is out of the game, the game is over with. The next thing you know, they're up by three and you only have 10 seconds left in the game. Because we've seen that in the past. Part of the reason to why the Kansas City Chiefs lost their first game of the season against the Detroit Lions last season was because they were missing Travis Kelsey and they were missing Chris Jones. The Ravens don't have that luxury. And Kadarius Toney dropped a lot of passes. I don't expect for the wide receivers to do the same thing in this game. So the secondary has to be on their P's and Q's. Key guys that are missing for the Baltimore Ravens in their secondary is a guy like Arthur Marlette. He is going to miss four games. He's on an IR report right now dealing with a knee injury, and that really sucks. But you still have Marcus Williams, Brandon Steffens as well at the right cornerback position, and you have Eddie Jackson who could come in and try to fill the void of Geno Stone. This is going to be a very good football game, and I am happy that this is the first football game of the brand new season. With that being said, the Kansas City Chiefs, they're going to be riding high. They're going to be in Kansas City. They're going to be celebrating that Super Bowl win. It's going to be crazy in Arrowhead. I have the Kansas City Chiefs winning this game in similar fashion like how they won last season. But I have them winning this game 27 to 20. But let me know in the comment section below, who do you have winning this game? The Baltimore Ravens or the Kansas City Chiefs. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last one of you guys stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. God bless. Peace.